into the quilt shop of McLean and this beautiful library. I'm Nancy Preston, AKA the Quilt Doctor. How in the world did that ever come about? 25 years ago, I was in Vienna, Virginia with a little shop and people kept coming to me saying, I am stuck. My beautiful great grandmother's text, uh, heirloom quilt, our puppy ate a hole right in the center of it. And then uh, it would be another lady, her great aunt made it and her daughter, teenage daughter, spilled her fingernail polish all over it. So horrors and horrors and the disasters keep, kept coming. And my dear darling brother said to me, you really are a quilt doctor. So that's where it all came from and here I am. Now I have a staff of genius specialists. They help me restore, repair, and most importantly, create. Uh, my tagline is restoring the thread. Now I'd like to call out one of our super special creative specialist, Carla. Carla, tell all these new <laughs> dear folks what we're working on now. A customer came to us with eight doctoral hoods and he said, unless you can make a quilt out of this, I am going to throw them away. Of course we can make a quilt out of it. We honor the cloth and the customer by using their baby clothes, ties, wedding dresses, West Point uniforms, and now doctoral hoods. I can't believe that he brought these to us. Where are they? Let's show them to the folks. And don't forget our latest t-shirt project. Oh, of course, the Grateful Dead. We'll show you how far we've gone with that in the next room. Let's go over to the table and start designing. Okay. more about these wonderful hoods. I have no idea how this works. You're going to take these and make a quilt? I can't believe it. Yes, the customer brought us eight of these hoods, doctoral hoods, and they are all different. They go on a person as seen here, mm -hmm. and I am calling the stripes one two, three, like top, middle, bottom. So these are all the colors of the hoods. But you'll notice that there is also a velour strip. Uh -huh. And I made that the fourth color. Uh -huh. And I am taking artistic license by using the top and middle and then the velour as the third stripe. My comment would be, I would like to see more red. Is that a consideration? Yes. Um, the design I'm thinking of needs 12 lots. Uh -huh. Since we have eight hoods, uh -huh. we need to repeat some of them. Great. So I can repeat the red love it. as often as needed. Gosh, that's great. I love it. I now love it. I want to show you what I have in mind for the block. Okay. The block looks somewhat like Absolutely. this to me. You've got it. You've got it. And it's going to be a brand new, never seen before block. This is the top, middle, bottom. Not only is she a quilter, she's Picasso. This is what I've put together as the paper piecing block. And I find it helpful to put the background colors, write them in as well as color one, color two, color three. 
Fantastic, fantastic. My first quilt design looked uh -huh. like this. Uh -huh. What do you think of the square block? I had to squish the elongated shape of the hood. I think as represented in the back of the scholar here, it needs to be elongated. So this rendition, which I've named SW Doctoral Hood, has an elongated hood still in a square block uh -huh. with borders on either side. I can't believe you did this all with without any prompting. <laughs> it's all yours, your own block. Also, we need to consider that the hoods are made off grain um, and I need to cut them on the straight of grain to keep s stretching from ah, the curve. Of course. I am also going to show you how I deconstruct a hood in our sewing room. Okay, let's go. Check out our next video where we create the doctoral hood in the sewing room. But first, let's take a look at the Grateful Dead t-shirt project. Well, this was certainly before my time, the Grateful Dead. I, I was, I came long after them, but not really. Here they are. These are the original t-shirts from uh, the original display and printout that they sold at their uh, concerts. So we have been tickled to have them. They're beautifully tie-dyed and they're that work of the tie-dye is actually hand-tied. There's nothing mechanical in it at all. So there are those who truly love the Grateful Dead and we're excited to have the opportunity to put this together for them. Thank you for spending time with us this afternoon. It is our pleasure to welcome you and we look forward to the future we have many more surprises, the, the, doc, the quilt doctor, um, and I thank you for my epiphany moments. They're unbelievable. So we have lots more to talk about in the future. Thank you so much.